Hi, I'm Jason Collins, and this video is about the implementation of prospect theory. Under prospect theory, people assess the weighted value of a prospect in two phases, editing and evaluation. Editing involves simplification of prospects for subsequent evaluation. Hanneman and Tversky described the editing phase as having four main operations, coding, combination, segregation, and cancellation. In the coding phase, prospects are coded as gains or losses relative to a reference point. In the combination phase, prospects are simplified by combining probabilities for identical outcomes. For example, a 25% chance of 200, a 25% chance of 200, and a 50% chance of zero will become a 50% chance of 200 and a 50% chance of zero. During segregation, Riskless components are segregated from risky components. For example, an 80% chance of 300 and a 20% chance of 200 corresponds to a sure gain of 200 and the risky gamble of an 80% chance of 100 and a 20% chance of zero. Finally, in cancellation, components that are shared by two prospects are ignored. In the evaluation phase, the prospects are evaluated and the option with the highest weighted value is chosen. The weighted value of a prospect is made up of a decision weight applied to each probability, pi of pi, and the subjective value of each outcome, v of xi. These are applied through the following formula to calculate v of x, the weighted value of the outcomes from gamble x. The weighted va value of x is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of the decision weights, pi of pi, times the value of each outcome, v of xi, which in turn equals pi p1 times v of x1 plus pi p2 v of x2, and so on through to pi pn v of xn. Prospect theory results in a four-fold pattern of risk attitudes, as shown in this table. For high probability gambles, the reflection effect leads to people being risk averse in the domain of gains and risk seeking in the domain of losses. For the top left quadrant, the low possibility of missing out on the gain is overweighted, making the gamble less attractive and amplifying the risk averse behavior. For the top right quadrant, the low probability of avoiding the loss is also overweighted, amplifying the risk seeking behavior we see in the domain of losses. These two quadrants can be illustrated by considering an offer to settle a court case. Imagine one party has a 95% chance of winning a large settlement. The shape of the value function in the gain domain and the certainty effect make a settlement offer attractive. Conversely, the other party overweights their 5% chance of victory and is risk seeking in the loss domain, making them unlikely to seek settlement unless it is very favorable. But for low probability gambles, as in the bottom two quadrants, the probability weighting pushes decisions in the opposite direction to the value function. The possibility of a gain is overweighted making gambles attractive and inducing risk-seeking behavior. A similar effect occurs for a low probability of a loss, with the overweighted probability making the gamble less attractive, inducing risk-averse behavior. The bottom two quadrants can be related to the purchase of insurance and lotteries. Lotteries involve a small probability of gains. As people overweight that small probability of a win, people will be risk-seeking when considering whether to purchase a lottery, lottery despite the gamble being in the gain domain where they are typically risk averse. Insurance involves a small probability of loss. As people overweight the small probability of a loss, people will be risk averse when considering whether to purchase insurance despite normally being risk seeking in the loss domain.